I love a good story behind a painting. Mm. I really do. I'm always intrigued. Now, we've all done it. Struggle to notice something that's right in front of us. And that's the same for filmmaker Nick Stringer from Chichester. Now, Nick has filmed all over the world. No location was too exotic, but he then eventually decided it was time to turn his camera on the landscape on his own doorstep, the South Downs. It's been cherished for generations, but as a new national park, Nick's documentary for BBC Four was a chance to surprise new fans and himself. He joined me on the sofa earlier, but first, here's a little taster of the programme. The male trees also produce pollen to fertilise the female ewes in the forest. Once a year, over just a few days, they release their pollen together. And Kingly Vale erupts in clouds of yellow smoke. Lovely stuff. Well, Nick is here. Um, what surprised you about the South Downs? What didn't you know? Something that was new? Well, I I'm still being surprised by the South Downs. There's so much there. We've got woodlands that have got virtually every single species of bat in the UK. We've got adders. We've got very rare butterflies, the Adonis blue. It's one of the rarest butterflies in the United Kingdom, found pretty much only in the South Downs. So, you know, it, for me, it was an absolute treat to be able to make this film because, and I'm still finding out more. I love the bit, the pollination of the yew trees that we saw just there in the clip. How long did that take to get? Because timing for that must be everything. Yeah, well, I must confess, I didn't do the hard work on that. <laughs> but I did actually witness it, and I was there on the day, much to the annoyance of the cameraman who'd been waiting several days to try and film it. It happens, we know it happens within a sort of two, three week window. And I happened to turn up on the day that it actually happened, and it is spectacular. And they, it's superb, yeah. isn't it? It's extraordinary, isn't it? I mean, 200 years ago, William Blake, inspired by what we have seen here, and yet we're still finding out new things, and we, I mean, it is still true today, isn't it, of the South Downs? It is. You know, that moment that he had, um, they say it was in Lavent, he looked up uh, towards what's called the Trundle, and he was inspired to write... Jerusalem, the, the words for the Jerusalem anthem, and I, it, there is something about the Downs that is just uplifting. You sort of get above the world, and mm. you, you're away from it all. And, and yet, I, I it doesn't seem to have that what I might call geographical neatness of other national parks. It is a bit of a sprawl, isn't it? it? Is and many people sprawl. don't know what's in or what's out. Yeah, and that was a real challenge with the storytelling. And, and one of the um, Nick Heisman at the park, the way he summed it up for me, the the USP for the South Downs National Park is that we have an unbroken human history that goes back right yeah. to the Neolithic times. And I think that's what mm. makes it so special. And you have travelled the world. I mean, we've spoken, haven't we, many years ago on this programme, uh, talking about the dolphins and the babies that you filmed. I mean, how does this compare to that? You know what? I have to say it ranks higher than virtually every film I've really? ever made abroad. And this is the only film I've actually made in the UK in its entirety. So. For me, it was just, um, it was really a treat, a personal voyage into my own backyard. Nick, great to see you again, and a lovely yeah. film. Thanks for coming in. Pleasure, absolute pleasure. And you can see the uh, documentary, South Down.